You're welcome to Logos of Flame Daily Devotional Podcast. Be blessed as you listen. January 7th. Today's topic is a culture of hospitality. During Bible times, a philosophy of hospitality generally prevailed in the Middle East. During that era, there were no commercial motels or hotels. So, those who were on a journey often had to depend on the kindness of strangers along the way. The host would usually wash the sojourner's feet, prepare meals and give them a place to rest, often at no charge. In previous generations, within African and other societies, a similar practice held sway. This attitude is encouraged by the scriptures. Hebrews 13.2 King James Version says, Be not forgetful to entertain strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels unawares. This is what happened in today's Old Testament passage, Genesis 18.1-15. Abraham looked up and saw three men whom he had never met before, and he entertained them. We can observe certain features of Abraham's approach. He was observant. Genesis 18.2 A culture of hospitality requires the host to be alert to the presence of another who may require help. He was prompt. We see Abraham rushing to tell Sarah, his wife, to quickly prepare some food for the guests, verse 6, while he hurried to prepare a calf, verse 7. He remained available. In verse 8, we read that Abraham stood by while the men ate, just in case they needed anything else. In scripture, leaders in the house of God are encouraged to be hospitable. See 1 Timothy 3 2, King James Version, where the phrase giving to hospitality is used. However, the injunction in the book of Hebrews above is to the entire body of believers. Hospitality is supposed to be a part of the culture of the church. In Abraham's case, he had stumbled upon heavenly beings who had a divine word for his family. Even though Abraham had been promised a son, as we saw in yesterday's scripture reading, it was this incident involving a show of hospitality that led to the final phase of the promised fulfillment. One of the angels said, I will certainly return unto thee according to the time of life. And lo, Sarah, thy wife, shall have a son. Genesis 15, 10, King James Version. The time of life in this context is a reference to the number of months a baby will stay in the womb of a mother before being delivered. Thus, following Abraham's generosity and service, a definite time frame was given for the miracle he had been believing to come to pass. It is not always easy or convenient to be hospitable, but we are nevertheless encouraged by scripture to do so. In fact, the term used in Hebrews 13.2 is that we should be not forgetful to be hospitable. This means that this is something we can let slip by us if we are not careful. Let us therefore endeavor to make acts of service and generosity to others a constant part of our lives. Practical Reflections 1. How can I be more open to people I have never met? Can I use a culture of hospitality as a means of reaching the lost for Christ? 2. Do I warm up to those who are attending church for the first time? Our Bible reading is from Genesis 16 through 18, 15, Matthew 6, 1 to 24, Psalm 7, 1 to 17, Proverbs 2, 1 to 5. Our memory verse is from Genesis 18, 13 to 14, using the New Living Translation. Then the Lord said to Abraham, Why did Sarah laugh? Why did she say, Can an old woman like me have a baby? Is anything too hard for the Lord? I will return about this time next year, and Sarah will have a son. We would love to hear from you. Please send your messages and prayer requests to our email, office at logosofflameministries.org, or visit our Facebook page, Logos of Flame Ministries, and drop a message. God bless.